Wonderful. Once again, Robert Forster, Louis Forster, live in session. And um, so um, if we can get to the album now, Robert, so The Candle and the Flame, it was released during a very difficult period in your life. Um, and we will go into this as far uh, and, and, and deep as you want to go, is what I will say, mate. Um, so could you explain uh, this scenario that you've been through? Yeah, um, in uh, July 2021, um, uh, my wife um, Carter and Lewis's mother, uh, Carter, um, was diagnosed with cancer, and um, so our whole lives um, changed immediately. And um, over the next couple of weeks, um, uh, Karen then went through um, seven rounds of, of chemo over the next um, half year and had a major uh, medical procedure, and so. Soon into that process, which was very, very difficult for her and very hard with the, the chemo, um, we started to play music at, at night, um, like uh, Karen and I. Like we'd done for 30 years. We, we played a lot of music um, in the house, and she's toured and played violin with me over the last two albums. And so music's always been in our home. And um, in this very difficult time, um, playing some new songs that, that I had that she knew um, because all, every new song I write I, I play to her um, because it's almost like the, the, the test if I can play a new song to her and um, so she knew them and just late at night we just started to play music and it just did that wonderful thing that music does it takes you away from life and just sends you straight into uh, another sphere and um, so we just started to sing at night and, um, and then Lewis came over and he started to play with us and then Adele Pickfans who used to play in the Go-Betweens came over and so we started this little sort of therapy music in the house band and um, then before Karen made her, her, her this operation we did a, um, a demo well it wasn't a demo it was a document of the sort of couple of months of music that we'd made late at night in the house just the four of us and we didn't know what was you know like the operation was going to be big and we always had that that document and then um Karen made it through the operation and on that tape we heard two songs um I don't do drugs um I do time and it's only poison Karen and I could tell that this these were finished recordings that we didn't really know that we were going to do. You know, like we thought we could release that now and that would be completely fresh. And that's and so we decided to make a record over the next couple of months, very much a day every month in the studio, and we recorded nine songs. It, sound, it now sounds like a, a crazy idea and, and how do we ever do it, but we actually made an album through Karen's chemotherapy and almost finished it the same day about... Um, nine months later and then we decided to put we hadn't told anyone that we we're going to make an album we, no I mean, one it wasn't knew. initially the yeah the plan I didn't yeah. realise we were making a record when I started playing yeah yeah and um, so so there's actually mistakes on the record <laughs> heaps the funny thing is though, I mean you know if you had sat down and said oh we're going to make an album there would have been so much more pressure on you wouldn't there to actually nail it so to, it's, it's probably the best way to go through funny enough I, I, I kind of maybe a little bit crass but I know that uh, just reverting to television I know that um, Billy Ficker didn't think it was a take he just thought it was a rehearsal and they actually kept it and, and, and the drumming is brilliant on it because he's so relaxed and all that and so and so i tell you what i mean i uh, when you released the statement about karen yeah and it was released the same day as she's a fighter yeah and and the whole the whole scenario was just heartbreaking even yeah. for me you know and we've only met a few times yeah but um but the the it seems or it transpires that you'd already written she's a fighter yeah yeah the of the nine songs on the record eight of them had been written before and um, I had the music over the previous three or four years and then in June uh, 2021 just before the diagnosis I wrote the music to She's a Fighter and then as I saw Karen gather herself and get ready to go through chemo and she was going to fight and all the spirit she put in that line She's a Fighter came to me and I um, put another line um, uh, to it um, and fighting for good and that was the total lyric. And on the album and on the video, it's just we decided that the four of us, the, only the family members were going to play on this track because it was a special, special song that had sort of come in a way half before the diagnosis and half after. 
Right, OK. And, and if I can ask, how is Karen now? She's doing well. She's, um, she is um, on a new medication um, and she's getting fitter and better and stronger. And it means that um, I can be uh, away here on tour. It means that Lewis can live in London and he's been there since July. And we can, you know, we can just sort of continue and um, things are good. Great. Well, wonderful news and just sending you all much love from us and Thank I know you. that the listeners will be joining us in that. Um, I also believe, I mean, we need to get another song as well, but um, I believe you've got a novel on the way. I do, I do. I've been working on it for um, a number of years and um, things, good things keep happening that keeps me away from it, but I have been putting a lot in the last couple of years into it and I'm hoping that it'll come out next year. It's, it's a big process, um, taking longer than I thought. It's getting better as it goes along, and so I don't want to rush it, and, and I, I want to give it my best. I was going to ask you how it ends, but obviously you're not entirely sure yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's just me being me, Robert. You know that. I do. And also, um, there's another box set of go-betweens looming large. Yes, um, I've just started, because this is the first time I've been out of the country and uh, out of Australia in three years, um, that's kicked off again. And so I've been, um, when I was down in London last week and when I go back to London in a week, um, we're starting that. That's all being gathered, that's all being put together. And um, it was something that just couldn't be done in lockdown. One of those things where... I had to be in London working with Matt Cooper, who's uh, the graphic designer from Domino, and we just had to be in the same room just talking and, and working on it. And uh, so it's taken this time, and now it's, it's underway. Um, it's going to be the surprise box. It's going to blow people's minds. There's, a, there's tons of stuff that people don't know about that period and songs and unknown songs that are, that are going to be in the box. Fabulous. Okay. And uh, Lewis, if you don't mind me asking, um, the Goon Sax? Yeah. Um, I spoke to Jim. It was funny, actually, on the, on the train today when I was sitting outside the toilet and we couldn't get a seat, I was on the phone to Jim, who was the bass player and guitar player in that band. He sends his love. Um, but yeah, the other two have gone back to Australia. That band is no more. But oh, right. For the best. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, it was great <laughs> while it lasted. I presume then that you're working on something else? Yeah, yeah, I've been recording some songs. I've got a new band in London. Um, yeah, keep Just us kind of taking it slow. I definitely will, Mark. Cheers. Yeah. Brilliant, thank you. Okay, so um, before we get to the next tune, then we've got. Uh, you did mention before, Robert York, the Crescent. That would be tomorrow. The sixteenth, Wolverhampton New Hampton Art Centre. The seventeenth, Oxford Bullingdon. The twentieth, London Lafayette. The twenty-first, Brighton Comedia, and then finishing off Belfast, the Empire Bar and Music Hall. Those dates for Robert Forster and Louis Forster. And uh, just one more song to come. So uh, what's the last song you're going to do for us, guys? Oh, OK. Um, it's, called, uh, it's called The Roads. Um, 